Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Soki Leiter and welcome to something I am very excited about personally. It is Rise of Mordor. It's a mod for Totoro Attila that I've been waiting on for a long time. Uh, and it's finally here. It is only custom battle for the moment. It's still working on the campaign. It's really hard work, I've heard. So uh, it's gonna take some time. Um, but yeah, the custom battles are here already. Uh, they've got about six factions you can play with, so uh, I went ahead and uh, started playing and I want to sh just show you some battles in the next coming weeks, some uh, cool scenarios to play with. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, that's have some fun. First up, we have, uh, just click and play, yeah, I'm playing with Gondor, uh, a Gondorian army has heard that an I army of Isengard is uh, coming towards an undefended undefended a coastal village of there so they sent down a detachment to defend it over here we've got the local militia hillmen of Lamedon. Uh they uh, came out they're brave warriors they're gonna try and help out the gondorian army to defend their village uh, I'll, sh I'll show you the units real quick got gondorian spear infantry i will put it on pause because this is going too quick i'm just too excited i want to show you it all gondor and spear infantry look at them look how cool they look got them on shield wall stationary so that lo looks really awesome got four units of arts up here they're fine already as you can see they've got a lot of great skills brass precision shot focus fire i'll put them uh, both on these uh don't think that these guys are op though op though uh, these are the the better units of gondor they've got a bit more units than what you uh, see here uh, more militia and stuff like this most of these are the best you still got some elite uh, better elite units though but I'll, I'll shoot you in them uh, another time we got the swordsman over here really cool looking guys as well they also got the shield wall uh, we've got some more over here got some more archers and some more spearmen and then you've got my general knights of the silver swan look at that that is awesome man Oh damn! Right now, let's play, and I'll show you uh, the enemy army because that is Isengard, and they're sending some berserkers our way. Look at that! Uh, they're getting shot though, but these berserkers are going for my militia. Luckily, uh, they've got the backup of the archers and this tower, because I don't think they uh, can deal with the berserkers. They're coming in fast, and they're coming in hard. Let's put it on slow mo. And then we've got some Urkai pikes here. Look at that. That looks just unbelievable. Beautiful. Looks surreal. Also, almost looks uh, like the movie, man. And we've got some crossbows. But this is not the only army. They've got uh, more Urks coming in from over here. More Berserkers. Urkai infantry over here. A lot of them Urkai crossbows. More infantry, more crossbows. Uh, See, so yeah, that's actually all the units the, Ur the Isengard has at the moment. Got some catapults as well, all natures, but these are just um, your normal type, all natures. Right, the militia, they are having a bad time because they are fighting berserkers. And uh, as you can see, those berserkers really live up to the name. They have, oh, these poor hillmen, man. They've absolutely destroyed them. They're running for their lives. Luckily, now it's up to the professional soldiers to deal with the enemy. Got my spear infantry here. My archers are still shooting at them. Uh, hopefully my spearmen together with the archers can hold the uh, oncoming wave of uh, men here. I got my Gondorian spear infantry here to hold as long as they can. With the back of, of, uh, of the archers I should be able to take down a lot of orcs here. We've already taken down a lot of berserkers over here. They're dying. That's good. We need to take down those berserkers. And we do got pikes here coming in, so that could be a problem against uh, our spear infantry. Even more berserkers, and we haven't managed to kill a lot so far. And we've got some orc high crossbow now coming in. Just to, should start to fire at them. Uh, the pikes, uh, because of the hillside, were not able to. Uh, they were not able to uh, get keep information, luckily for me. Uh, I think it's uh, time to uh, throw in my swords. Also over here, they've, uh, they're now fighting my spearmen. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful this is. 
Attila is a beautiful graphical game and now with uh, Lord of Rings units over here, it looks even better. Oh man, he lost his head. Right, my uh, the spear infantry is doing really, really great against uh, a lot of enemy units there. Hopefully, we can hold them here as well. We've only lost six units so far, uh, but they managed to get their pikes out. And over here, we're fighting berserkers as well. Let's get you, uh, get you behind. Maybe you can do something. Are we taking down crossbowmen? Yes, we are. We've taken down some of them. They're not firing back though, for some reason. Some of them are though, but a lot of them aren't shooting. Uh, maybe we need to deal with the crossbowmen over there as well. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. We need to get my leader out, get him into the action. Uh, with the tremble and stuff like that, he, uh, maybe he will manage to uh, take down his crossbows because I need my arrows to uh, kill a lot of their infantry and a lot of uh, the Isengard infantry, a lot of the Urks are already dying as you can see over here getting shot by arrows, getting stabbed by spears uh, the Gondorians are really really brave and they're taking them down but we still got a lot, a long way to go. The Isengard army has a count of 26,000. Uh, that's a little bit too much. 2,600 men. So far we managed to uh, kill almost 600. We've got 2,000 men, so they do outnumber us. And they have uh, some pretty good men up there. Uh, how many men did we lost? Almost 500 already. That's a little bit too much. We need to deal with this shit. Right, these guys are not gonna hold out for any for much longer. We're out of arrows as well. We lost some men here. The crossbowmen are actually shooting at me. And now these spikes have gone. Uh, they managed to get the pikes out. And this is a bit of a problem for my uh, spear infantry. They are managing to uh, stay alive for now, but eventually those spikes uh, will tear them down. Uh, we need to help uh, my infantry over here. Because look at that. Look at how strong those berserkers are. I underestimate them. They are tearing down, absolutely destroying my infantry. So hopefully a uh, good charge in the back and uh, we can stay alive here. Because I need these men to attack them. In the back, we're also almost out of ammo here. My leader has found their crossbowmen. Oh, look at look at this beautiful cavalry! It's awesome. Charging in the crossbows, and they will manage to uh, to kill them. Look at that! They already killed 60 of them. They're going down. They don't. Those crossbowmen don't stand a chance. This is elite cavalry. This is the best of the best. And uh, it looks like my spear infantry, uh, they don't have a lot of men left, but they're still alive for now. Still standing. I'm out of ammo though, so I need to deal with uh, them archers. Right, we managed to take down the berserkers here finally. Lost a lot of men though. My spear infantry is, uh, they're not losing a lot of men, but of course the pikes are not losing a lot of men as well. Uh, they're having a hard time getting through here. And we've got some berserkers walking amidst the bikes as well. That could be a problem. Who's fleeing? Oh boy. Get your ass back here. Uh, I think uh, I'll keep one unit over here. Oh wait, come over here. And you head back over here. It's a shame I'm out of arrows and I don't have a supply card. Uh, what is a supply card, you ask me? Well, Rise of Mortar. <laughs> Rise of Mortar. Uh, they uh, they put a new cool thing in there. Uh, they uh, got a supply card, which you can use if you're out of ammo in battles. So that's that's a really really awesome. It's an awesome new thingy that Tilla didn't have. When you run out of arrows, stuff like that. Can just uh, get that supply 
wagon close to your men. Resupply your men with arrows, stuff like that. This is uh, kind of awesome. Right. Let's charge these spikes in the back. Hopefully uh, we'll manage to break them down. Gondorian Spear Infantry is doing great though. They're holding on. Now we're charging the pikes. Taking them down. Good. That was a beautiful charge. Managed to uh, slay some Urks here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, there goes another Urk. He lost his head. Damn. A lot of Urks dying down there. A lot of blood being spilled as well. Uh, right. It seems uh, my Knights of the Silver Swan are not doing great. Let's pull them out. And charge them again. And hopefully that will do it. Because, uh, damn. We've lost uh, almost 30 men. The initial charge was great. But it is... Oh, they don't. Can't have them shooting at me. Let's turn around and charge them again. Put on tremble as well. I mean, this is shock recovery, so they're really good at the initial charge. But then, if they're in the fight for too long, eventually they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be killed. Guys, this is not a great charge. What is this? This is absolutely pathetic. But. I'm surprised though that these crossbowmen managed to hold on for uh, for the longest time here. Hopefully they'll break now though. Right, finally. My cavalry is really, really tired though. Need to get out of here because another detachment of crossbowmen coming my way. Ooh, they've taken down some of my men. We need to hide a bit and get our uh, get our strength back, get our health back because they're exhausted. All right, over here. The army of Urks is charging the last of my spear infantry. They're fighting till the last man. That's awesome. Oh, they're not gonna fight until the last man. They're almost fleeing. How are they over here, guys? Okay, it seems uh, like the bikes have turned around, and they're now focusing on my swordsmen, who uh, are barely managing to hold their own right now. But. All the pikes have turned around, so now uh, my spear infantry can uh, kill them from the back. So hopefully, slowly but steady, we will take them down there. Uh, yeah, they managed to break down my spear infantry, but look at all the, look at how uh, long they held on here, and how many orcs they actually managed to kill. It's amazing, together with the arch, of course. Uh, hopefully, these guys will uh, slowly refresh them, and then I can charge them into the crossbows here. They're still shooting with the crossbows uh, by archers, I think. But that's okay, they don't have any more ammo left, so... Kind of useless to me right now. Ooh, their berserkers are wavering. I didn't expect that. I think uh, it would have been cool if they had an option where the berserkers don't have any morale. I don't think the uruk flee a lot. I think their morale will probably be really, really high. They don't get scared a lot. But I think Berserkers never, never run away. They just fight till the death. They're a kamikaze elite type of Uruk. I don't think they, they get scared. I don't even know how a scared Berserker looks like. Looks really weird, I think. Wow, we got some sword infantry just holding the streets over here. That's a lot of Uruk high infantry. Yeah, this, this, the Uruk High Infantry is pretty tough, actually. Didn't lose a lot of men yet. But, um, over here, we are slowly breaking them. Ooh, just lost uh, one of our own. Also, the Berserkers uh, are not wavering anymore. But they're now really, really out of bike formation. Let's get these uh, fresh units up here. Uh, maybe a good charge will help to uh, kill the last of them. And I can get my Gondor Spear Infantry uh, out of there to just uh, get their strength back up. Oh, they just went from exhausted to fresh in a really, really fast time. It's nice. These Knights of the Silver... Uh, Gondor has another uh, cavalry unit as well. But these are the best, but they're very heavy shock cavalry. Uh, as you can see, even in fresh, they're not really fast. And they get tired really, really quickly, but they they do attack very heavily. Hopefully we can get to the crossbowmen here before dying. 
Let's actually uh, go around here. Better to attack from here. Ooh, we've got uh, some crossbow men coming in though. Need to watch out, otherwise uh, they're all gonna shoot my leader there. Right, only one unit here left. Time for a last uh, charge in. Right, it's time for the pikes to uh, get you out of here. And now we're, yeah, we're gonna tear those uh, pikes down. Oh, they know I'm coming. They know I'm coming. Minus 100% missile block chance. Well, let's not put them on flying wedge because uh, these guys will probably get some shots off. They're already shooting at me. I need to charge in right now. I'm not gonna use trample because uh, they will just get tired too quickly. But it looks like we're gonna get a good charge in over here. Beautiful. Oh, damn. Damn. Could you hear all those urgs dying? Look at that. And how many are dying right now? That's amazing. Gonna send a medic mode for uh, for a little while. Look at this. Look at this fight. Come on, man, hold on. Hold the line. So cool. And uh, we managed to uh, to defeat them over here. Let's go after the crossbows. Hopefully, we can get them and our archers as well. Now we need to uh, focus on the other side. These guys are ready and then they can come as well. This is the loss of their infantry. If we want to win, we need to defeat them. But they're still, they, they outnumber us at the moment in uh, infantry. Not anymore in Mando. We've got a thousand men. They've got 800 men left. Uh, can we get those Zero High Crossbow though? Right, my leader did a great job. He absolutely obliterated the crossbow then over there. Maybe we'll put in one charge and we'll get the hell out of there again. Look at that cavalry coming in. Bam! Damn, son. Alright, look at all the orcs who died here because of the charge. Beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Well, let's get you out again. Because uh, I don't want to lose my leader right now. Run away, man. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah, he went. Oh, there he is. He's, he's mad now. I thought he was coming after my leader, but uh, he isn't. My swordsmen are slowly dying, though. Hopefully, my... Uh, Put these guys uh, let's go around let's attack them from the back and let's get my uh, calf up here because it doesn't seem like my uh, sword infantry are gonna catch up with them ah urx running for their lives nice Right, my men are doing a great job. They're holding, but they're just too outnumbered. I need to hold the lines. It seems like uh, my tower just set one of my houses ablaze. Right, if they can hold out a little bit longer, uh, reinforcements are coming in. A full unit of sword infantry is still fresh. They haven't fought a single fight so far. I want to pull these guys back, but as soon as I do, these crossbow men are going to shoot at them. They're going to lose a lot of men if they get shot in the back. Alright guys, it's time. Charge in, break their morale. For Gondor. Come on, man. Do it. That was a nice charge. First, uh, Urks have already died. Look at the captain. 
He doesn't give any but no fucks are given. He's fighting on the front. Met the captain's really really cool looking. Right. Got a fresh unit over here and the orcs uh, can't seem to deal with them. See a lot of orcs dying and not a lot of Gondorians. That is very good. Oh damn. He just hit the stomach of with his knee. Stomach of an Urk high with his knee, that's amazing. Alright, not a lot of men left, but looks like uh, they're fleeing though. That's nice. Yeah, I think uh, this battle will soon be over. Let's just uh, see how my leader the uh, doing. Yeah, they're killing, uh, killing their crossbows. Uh, we managed to break down one Urukai infantry. Rust is still standing though, and it doesn't look like uh, they're gonna leave anytime soon. It's poor and more men. We need to keep uh, keep pushing. Keep pushing them back. Slowly but steady, they are dying though. And yeah, we're gonna win this for sure. Many are done, and uh, soon these guys will die as well. Look at that, they're fleeing, they're fleeing, only their leader left, and there he goes. We managed to defend the village. We were playing on very hard by the way, not on legendary for the reason that I wanted to slow-mo and pause a bit when we could. Uh, and we were outnumbered, so we, uh, yeah, we actually managed to stay alive to defend the village from the Urukai, and yeah guys, that was the... First battle in the Rise of Mordor mod. Uh, I think it's really cool. It looks amazing, and I can't wait to do play more battles with them in uh, custom mod. If you if you if you're looking forward to some kind of battle, I don't know. Just uh, if you have a nice idea, just leave it in the comments, and I will look into it. But for now, I'm gonna have to leave you. If you enjoyed this battle, and if you enjoyed this mod, leave a like. If you want to see more of my content, and if you want to support my channel then hit that subscribe button make my day and i will see you guys very soon